So start to move your knees bent and your feet to the floor, shoulder blades down your back. Just create a little bit of space across your chest, length through your spine. Take in a couple of deeper breaths. On your next inhale, reach the hands up towards the ceiling and then just reach the arms back behind you to create a bit more space around the ribcage. Take in a couple more deep breaths in there. And just slide the arms around to more of a cactus position and rocking the knees then from side to side. Just get moving through the back. Holding center, let's interlace the fingers together and place your head into the hands. Keep the feet rooted to the floor for the first few breaths, feet staying hips distance apart. Take a really full breath into your belly. And as you exhale, wing the elbows towards the ceiling as though your elbows are trying to reach up first and then the armpits lift up. Keep the head hanging heavy in that support of your hands. Inhale, take the head back to the floor. Exhale, lift the elbows and the armpits up. Press that top rim of the sacrum into the floor so your lower back presses down. Use your feet to help you. Inhale, head to the floor. Just keep that going at your breath pace, but really make sure you are fully emptying the exhale so you get that squeeze of those transverse abdominals at the lower part of the torso. Couple more breaths. From there, keep the head to the floor. Let the elbows just wing out to the side so the arms are more relaxed. Pick the feet up to 90 degrees. Flexing the feet, pull your lower back into the floor so top rim of the sacrum pushes down. Keep the knees stacked above the hips so the knees aren't too tucked in towards your body. Take a breath in where you are. And as you exhale, just bring the right heel down to your floor and press it into the ground. So strike it into the floor to so keep that lower back and lower belly drawing down. Inhale, pick the foot back up again. As you exhale, take the left heel down to the floor, pressing it into the ground as you pull the lower belly and lower back down. Inhale, pick the foot back up. Exhale, right heel comes down, lower belly and lower ribs pull in. Inhale, pick up. Exhale, left heel down, lower belly, lower ribs tuck in. Inhale, pick up. We're gonna do a double heel strike. So exhale, right heel taps down for one, and then take it a few inches further away from your body and press it down again for two. Inhale, pick the leg back up. Exhale, left heel taps down for one, and then take it a few inches further away for two. One more time either side with that. Maybe the head and shoulders lift up as you do this next round. So exhale, right heel taps down for one, and two. Inhale, pick the leg back up. Left heel down, taps for one. And two. Inhale, pick the leg back up again. If they aren't already, then lift the head and shoulders up. Work into twisting abs. So as you exhale, keep the legs as they are. Just bring your elbows towards the ceiling above your left knee. Inhale, roll body back center. As you exhale, bring your elbows to reach up above your right knee. Inhale back to center. Either keep this going side to side with your knees bent, or if you can, lift the heels further up to the ceiling and try and get your elbows to reach up towards the opposite toes. Legs stay as they are. The upper body that's doing the movement on this one. Really reach through the elbows. You feel your shoulder blades try and lift off the floor. It's not pulling into the head, it's your shoulders moving to lift you. Breathing out through the mouth, if that helps you get a little bit deeper into the breath. 
So next time you reach your elbows towards the right, I think that should be your last side. Bend the knees again, so you're back at 90 degrees, keep the lower back pulling down. This time reach your elbows back over towards the upper left and reach your right leg forwards. Inhale, come back into the center. Exhale, reach your elbows towards the right, reach the left leg forwards, push out through the ball of the foot. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, elbows to the left, reach right leg forward, squeeze the glutes and pull the belly down. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, elbows to right, reach left leg forward, squeeze the glutes and pull the belly down. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, elbows to left, reach right leg forward, squeeze the glutes, belly down and lift that left elbow higher. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, elbows to right, straight in the left leg, squeeze the glutes, belly down, lift right elbow higher. Inhale, come back to the center, bring the knees to press together and then rock the knees in towards your chest. So now upper body stays still, lower body moves. Keep the head floating if you can, if it feels a little bit too strong now, let the head come to the floor. So just the legs and pelvis rolling, like you're trying to lift your hips up off the floor. Exhale as the knees come in, inhale as they reach away, exhaling in. So deepen into it further as your legs come down, keep the legs at 90 degrees but then the toes come towards the floor. So you just create more range of movement with the legs. Let's take another three, two, Last one, bring the feet to the floor, Ooh, that worked. Bring the hands to the sides of the body, let the arms relax, give your knees another little rock side to side. Coming in towards a bridge pose, but just take the feet a little bit wider than your body, so, so toes very slightly turned out. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, roll the hips up, so tailbone leads the way. So your feet are slightly turned out, so keep the knees in the same direction as your toes. As you inhale, bring the hips towards the floor. And as you exhale, push through the heels of the feet, press the hips back up again. Again, keep it going with your breath pace. Is it like an 80s music video? What was that, what was that call on me <laughs> music video? I'll put on our peak later. Take another four. Really squeezing the glutes as you come up. Another three, two, and one. Leave the hips lifted. Without transferring too much movement through the body, root down through your left foot. You can press down through the right arm. Pick the right foot up towards the ceiling. Hook that right ankle onto your left thigh. Let the knee just drop out a bit like a figure of four. Keep that left foot slightly wider. Four breaths here again with that same hip thrusting. So as you inhale, drop the hips towards the floor. And as you exhale, press the hips back up again. Push through that left heel. Inhale, hips down. Exhale, hips up, pushing through the heel. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, stay lifted. Replace your right foot so it's slightly turned out. Without transferring too much movement, bring your left leg up towards the ceiling. You can root down through the left arm a little bit to help you. Place the ankle onto your right thigh, open the knee, and as you inhale, lower the hips towards the floor. Make sure your right heel presses into the ground like that heel strike to lift your hips up. Three more. Exhaling as you lift, so abdominals engaged. Two more. Last one. Holding at the top, lift the heel back up again. Place the foot back down. Heel toe your feet in towards each other slightly so they are hips distance apart. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling and then a bit like a cactus position, bring the elbows to the floor but keep the hands up. So, so fingertips are facing the ceiling and palms facing into each other so that you've got stabilizers on the floor. So feet staying hips distance, keep tucking the tailbone so we're still working with glutes and the strength of your back. 
press into the left foot, reach the right foot to 90 degrees uh, with that right leg. Just holding there, keep pressing through that left heel, keeping the hips steady. If you feel okay there, fairly steady, then see if your fingertips can reach up to the ceiling so you're not using your elbows like stabilizers. Keep squeezing those hips up. Take two more breaths where you are. One more breath where you are. Place the right foot to the ground, bring the elbows back to the floor. Root down through that right foot to lift the left leg up to 90 degrees. Level the hips, and if they aren't already, then maybe lift the fingers up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Stay active through the hands, level through those hip bones, and keep trying to tuck the tailbone so that right buttock is really switched on. Last couple of breaths. Slowly bring that heel back to the floor, reach the arms all the way back behind you, then exhale to roll the spine into the ground. Bring the knees in towards your chest, hug the hands around the shins, take a gentle rock side to side. Good. Rock yourself through to seated. Gonna come all the way over into all fours. Find it, that's it, all fours position. Spread the fingers open. Just roll the wrists, uh, the shoulders, sorry, around your wrists a few times, a circular motion, doing the same direction a few times, acknowledging each fingertip and each part of the palms, and then circle around the other way. Holding level, take a couple of cat cows or sway the hips side to side. Just bring any movement into your back that helps you loosen up a little bit. Good. And then tuck the toes underneath. Drop the elbows towards the floor. Turn the palms in to face each other so the little finger edges against the ground. Make sure those elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. If you want to just do the check, you make sure you grab hold of your biceps and then spin them back out again. Broaden out through shoulder blades, so push down through the elbows. Gaze back towards your thighs. Then on your next exhale, lift the knees up. Lift the hips up into that dolphin pose with palms up. That's it. So keep pushing through the elbows and try and press them towards the top of your mat. So you get a little press through of the chest coming towards your legs. Try to relax into the neck. You can keep as much bend in the knees as feels comfortable to your hamstrings. Holding here for four more breaths. Keep pressing through those shoulders. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Last breath. Begin to walk the feet back towards the back of your mat to lower the hips so you come into a forearm plank. Keep the palms facing each other. And lower the hips in line with the rib cage. Pull the pressure into your heels slightly so legs feel active. And then scoop the belly button up to the spine like you're slightly tucking the tailbone. Just using your feet, rock your shoulders forwards and then rock back. Rocking forwards and rock back. Keep it going. Keep the hips low. Place your right palm to the floor. Roll onto the sides of your feet. You can lower the knees down if you wish to. Lift the left arm up to the ceiling into a side plank. Take that left hand overhead so you're long through the body and lower the hips towards the ground. Then press them back up again. Take three more. So tap your bum to the floor and press it back up again. Two more. Really try and squeeze through the side of your torso to lift your hips back up. Last one. Holding, bring the left forearm down to switch sides of those little taps. Right arm lifting up. Make sure that left shoulder blade feels plugged into your back. So push down through the elbows to lift out of it. Sit arm overhead, tapping for one. Push up. Pushing two. Three, good, and four. Bring the forearm to the floor. 
Walk your feet back in towards your body slightly, so hips will lift up into the air. Palms stay pressing down, stretch the fingers open. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, press up to your full downward dog. Elbows lift at the same time. Not uh, elbows down. I didn't believe that. Elbows down, elbows lift up at the same time. Go. Mm. One more, elbows down. You can blame your classmates after class. <laughs> Ready, go. Yes, that's it, there you go. Walk your feet up towards your hands, come into a forward fold. Hold onto your legs until your arms or let the arms just flop wherever you want to be. Just looking up into your fold. Take a couple of deeper breaths. Let the head dangle. Slowly roll yourself up to standing. And roll the shoulders down your back. Okay, just give the head a little roll side to side. Make sure the neck feels loose. Come to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Come and try and work through some salutation. So bring the hands to heart centre. As you inhale, we're going to lift the hands towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, come into forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. We'll take this first one fairly steady. So exhale, step the right leg back, place the knee to the floor. Go with forest sun salutation to start with. Inhale, lift the hands up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, come into your plank position. Holding plank for three breaths for one. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Lower down on your exhale, Chatanga. Inhale to Cobra or Up Dog if you're feeling like you've moved already. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling, take a breath in. As you exhale, step it through to between the hands, place the back knee to the floor again. Lift the arms up, taking one big breath in. And as you exhale, come up to forward fold at the top of the mat. Halfway lift is your inhale. Exhale, fold into the leg, step the left leg back, place the knee to the floor. And one breath to lift the arms up. Exhale brings you to plank position. Holding plank, lift your right foot up off the floor. Exhale, place it back down. Inhale, lift your left leg up off the floor. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift your right hand off the floor. Yep. Exhale, place it down. Left hand off the floor. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift your right foot and your left hand off the floor. Exhale, place them down. Good. Inhale, lift your left foot and your right hand off the floor. Exhale, place it down. Stay in your plank, take a big breath in. Exhale, forward and down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, back into Downward Dog. Holding for two breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, take a breath in. Exhale, step through to between the hands, place the back knee to the floor. One breath lifts the hands up, and the exhale brings you to forward fold at the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the leg. Sweep the arms wide as you rise all the way to standing, arms lift up above the head. Interlace the fingers together behind your back. So give the shoulders a little stretch out. So reach the knuckles back towards the back of the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades, open out the chest space. Keep the feet hips distance apart. So take a deep bend in the knees and then a full breath in to so reach open through that breastbone. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Halfway lift as you inhale, keep the clasp of the hands. Then exhale, release the fingers down to your feet. Halfway lift again, inhale. Exhale, step or hop back to plank position. Holding plank, bring the hands close together so the tip of your thumbs are touching. Rocking forward so your shoulders are directly above the wrists. As you exhale, take a half chaturanga, so or halfway down chaturanga, so a little dip into the elbows and push back up. Good. So move on your exhale. So exhale, drop down. 
hold, inhale, exhale, push up. Yeah, you can absolutely do this with knees down too. So let's do two more. So exhale, lower, holding that lower inhale, exhale, push up, hold, inhale, exhale, lower down, hold, inhale, exhale, push up, bring the hands back out to shoulder width, and then use your exhale to lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Bring your feet slightly closer towards you so the heels can be grounded. Turn the toes out slightly, heels together, like you've got little ballet feet. Keep pressing through the hands. You're reaching your bum up towards the ceiling as high as you can. From here, lift the right leg towards the ceiling. Keep that left heel rooting down. Point through the right toes. Activate that right buttock so that you can squeeze that leg up a little bit higher. Option to stay rooted through your right hand. Bring your left hand to grab hold of the inside of that left ankle. Using that strong core that we switched on at the start. Good, yeah, fingers don't quite reach the ankle, just reach for the floor close to it. Keep pressing through that right arm to try and push out of your right shoulder. One more breath. Exhale, replace your hand and then replace the foot. Lift the left leg up. Maybe you add in the right hand reaching towards the inner ankle of your right foot. So if you have hold of it, then use that to pull yourself in. Really activate the left glutes to lift that left leg higher. And then push more into your left hand as you're trying to push yourself out of that shoulder. So it's really strong with that shoulder blade and back. Replace your hand. Well done. Replace the foot. Bring the feet back into parallel. Roll forward into your plank position, holding there. You can do this on forearm or palm. We're coming into side plank, left arm or palm down, right arm lifting up. You can also do this with the left knee to the floor. Okay, you need to bring that down. I'm going to lift the right foot up off the floor. Right hand reaches overhead. As you exhale, bring that right knee and right elbow in towards each other. Pull belly to spine. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, squeezing in. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in and hold the knee close towards your chest. Place your hand back to the floor. So you roll into plank, but with this right knee under the body. Holding. Bring that knee as close towards your forehead as you can. Not the forehead necessarily to the knee. Bring that knee towards the forehead, yeah. Hold it. Keep pushing through the arms. Two more breaths. Send the leg back into plank. Come on to the right palm or forearm down, left arm lifting up. Again, your right knee can be on the floor for this. Reach the hand overhead, lift the left foot up off the floor. Exhale, bring knee and elbow towards each other as you squeeze belly to spine. Inhale, lengthen out, we have three more. Exhale, scooping in. Two more, inhale. Exhaling in. Inhale. Exhale, scoop in, hold the knee close towards your chest. Place the palm back to the floor so you're back in plank with that left knee underneath. Good, bring that knee towards your forehead, not necessarily forehead to knee. Strong arms, push the floor away. Keep breathing. Looking good. Step the foot back into plank, take a big breath in. Exhale, slow chaturanga, just for a count of three. Elbows in, two, one. Press through the hands, lift the chest, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, step the foot through to between your hands. Keep the back knee floating with a little dip into that back knee. Bring the hands forwards and up to the ceiling. Option to keep the hands lifted, to keep the heart rate up a little bit. Lower the hands, you'll just calm it down a bit. So you decide where your hands are. 
if they're above, it's going to work you a little bit more intensely. So make sure your feet are kind of hip width apart, so you're not on one kind of tightrope of trying to balance. Dip the back knee towards the floor and then press it back up again. So try and keep the movement just in the um, back knee going up and down, not the front knee going forwards and backwards. It's a different dance move. Good, keep it going. Try exhaling as you push up. See if you can press through the front heel. So again, we use the heel strike to activate the buttock and the hamstring. Good, keep it going. Hold when you next have that bend in the front knee. Bring the hands to the heart center, hinge the weight forwards, keep the squat of this front leg, Kick the back foot up through a warrior three, but with your supporting leg squatting. From here, take a breath in. As you exhale, then straighten up that supporting leg. So now all we're gonna do is bend and straighten your supporting leg, like you're on a lever going up and down, and the body stays exactly in the line that it is. Couple more. Good. Take the toes back to the ground again. Lift the hands back up to the ceiling. Exhale, chaturanga, so step the foot back and lower the body down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, back into downward dog. Take a full breath. Lift your left leg then up to the ceiling, take a breath in. Use the exhale to set the foot through to between the hands. Keep the back knee floating, but a little bend into the knee. Arms lift up, or wherever you want to have the arms. And begin that lunge, dipping the back knee towards the floor. Try to keep the front knee steady. And again, press through the front heel to push up. So you're using the left glute and hamstring to press up. Good, keep it going. Belly to spine, keep the core strong. Last couple. So next time you have the squat in the front leg, bring the hands to the heart center. Stay bending into this front leg, lean forward, float the back foot. Keep the squat of your supporting leg. Then press up to straighten it. Then bend back into it. Then straighten it. Then bend it. Keep it going a couple more times, it's good. Keep that floating leg really, really straight. At least try and straighten the knee. Yeah. Next time you have the bend, hold there, toes to the floor, lift the hands back up, take a huge breath in. Exhale, come through chaturanga, lower the body to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, back into downward dog. Stay where you are, take a big breath. Bring the gaze to your hands, bend the knees. Step, walk or jump your feet up to the hands. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, step walk or jump your feet back into plank position. There you are, take an inhale. Exhale, feet back up to hands. And you get the idea, keep it going backwards and forwards. See if you can just spring from one side to the other. So as soon as you land, jump it back. <laughs> that's it, keep it going. If you come halfway up, that's okay. It's just little hops. Good, take another few. Next time you come towards your plank position again, hold there. At the same time, so that's actually I'll make it easier for you, bring your hands forwards a little bit of your shoulders. At the same time, lower both elbows to the floor. <sighs> yes, good. No bruised elbows, please. Thumbs down, forward with your shoulders. Come on, Julie, pretty. Really. <laughs> Tapping your hips one side to the other towards the floor. You can do this on the knees if you want to. Thumb sweeps. That's it. All belly to spine. You can do it. Take another four. Three, two, 
One, the whole center, hold. Shoulders forwards, knees to the floor, <laughs> belly to the floor, have a moment of collapse. Hey! <laughs> Take a couple of deep breaths. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck the toes. So take a big breath in as you exhale, either to plank or all fours. Back into downward dog, good stuff. Take three breaths here to settle the breath back into the body. Bring the gaze to your hands, bend the knees, step, walk or jump the feet towards your hands, just once, I promise. Halfway lift as you inhale. And exhale, fold into the legs. Slowly roll up through the spine, bring the hands wide and up above the head. Interlace the fingers together behind your back, stretch out the shoulders, take a couple of breaths. Release the hands. So you're coming into a little standing um, for quads and legs. So take the weight onto your left foot, pick the right knee up towards your chest. Now option to do this, left hand to your hip. Option to do this just resting your palm onto the knee. It gives you a kind of compromise rather than holding it in, which is easy. You need to bring the palm to the knee just to get a little bit of support if that's your option. Those of you that can go a little bit further, take your piece fingers to the big toe. Keep the knee facing up to ceiling and not winging out to the side. Good. Keep the supporting leg as straight as you can. So keep the foundation strong before you worry about how straight the supporting leg goes. If you can, then start to lengthen the heel out. All the way out if we can. But find the balance of your supporting leg staying straight. Pull up the quads. Good. Lift the left hand to the ceiling if we can. Hold it. So you can keep that right leg where it is, but let go of the toes or the knee. Lift both hands to the ceiling, pull belly to spine. Holding for three breaths, two breaths, lift it up, point the toes, one breath. Bend the knee towards your chest, kick it back behind you, warrior three. Hinging forwards, hands either out in front or under the chest, float it back. Gaze now. Three of those squats in the supporting leg. So bend into it and push back up. Bend into the supporting leg. Keep the floating leg straight. Straighten up. Last one. Good. Bring that right knee up towards your chest. Take a big breath in. Whoop. Exhale. Kick it back behind you again. Bring the arms back with it this time. We're going to do three sweeps from upright. Bring the knee to your chest. Inhale. Exhale back into warrior three. Bring it upright, inhale. Exhale into warrior three. Upright, last one. Exhale, warrior three. Take the toes down to the floor at the back of your mat. Lift the hands to the ceiling. Keep the squat of your front leg. Hands can come to heart center. Sweep your back knee to tap the front knee. Keep the squat of that leg. We're doing eight. Seven, keep the front leg exactly where it is. Six, five, stay low. Four, three, two, one. Come back up to standing. Give that leg a little shake out. One time. Lift your bones. Standing balances. The weight onto your right foot. Shake it off. Left knee comes to the chest. Right hand on your hip. So either you hold onto the knee and palm to kneecap rather than grabbing hold of the shin. Remember that for other practices as well. Or piece fingers to big toe. Keep the knee up to the ceiling and not turned out good. If we can, lengthen the heel forward to push the toe into the fingers so you create a strong bind. Find the balance point though where your supporting leg can stay really straight, pulling belly to spine. Holding, keep hold of the leg or the toes. 
Reach the right hand to the ceiling. Pull belly to spine, lift the left hand to the ceiling. Point the left toes. Hold it, lift it up. It's horrible, two more breaths. Last breath. Bend the knee, kick the leg back into warrior three. Holding, squatting the supporting leg. Press back up. Squat into supporting leg. Press back up. One more here. Then bring your floating knee up towards your chest. Inhale. Reach the arms back with your leg into warrior three. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, reach it back. Holding, take the toes to the floor at the back of the mat into lunge, hands to heart center. Keep the squat of your supporting leg. Tap the back leg in for eight. Back. Seven. Back. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up to standing, top of the mat, take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Roll through the vinyasa. Loosen up the body. Back into downward dog. Holding there, take three breaths. You're going to settle the breath into the body. Stretch out the legs or wiggle the hips. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring that knee towards your right elbow and tap the knee to elbow. Inhale, lift the leg back up to the ceiling. As you exhale, reach your knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, pick it up. Knee back towards your right elbow and then lift the knee up towards the right shoulder. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow and then lift it up towards the armpit. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, knee to nose and then back towards your forehead. Inhale, pick it up. Keep the foot floating as you take your chaturanga. Good, lift the chest. Let's sit, roll through vinyasa. Come back into the downward dog. Take a breath. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the knee towards your left elbow. Inhale, pick it up. Knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, pick it up. Knee towards your nose. Inhale, pick it up. Knee towards left elbow and then up towards your shoulder. Inhale, pick it up. Knee towards your right elbow and then towards your armpit. Inhale, pick it up, good. Exhale, knee to nose and then towards the forehead. Inhale, pick it up. Keep the left leg floating as you roll through your vinyasa. Meet back in downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Knee towards right elbow. Inhale, straighten the leg. Knee towards left elbow. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Either repeat that again or add a hop into your supporting leg. So you inhale to hop and bring the knee to right elbow. Inhale to hop, knee to left elbow. Last one. Roll through vinyasa. We'll take a pause. Come off the wrist. This is the last little half section. So lift the left, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Use the breath. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale to lift, knee to nose, 
either repeat that or add in the hop knee to left elbow hop knee to right elbow inhale hop knee to nose last time through your vinyasa meeting back in downward dog take a two full breaths inhaling through the nose sigh through the mouth through the nose sigh through the mouth bring the knees to the floor come into a child's pose palms turned up to the ceiling to ease off your wrists slow down the breath From here, just roll yourself up into hero pose. So just sit onto the heels. If knees are tricky, you can do this in higher kneeling if you prefer. You can lift the hands up towards the ceiling, interlace the fingers, press the palms up. As you exhale, lean your body towards the left. Let your hips come over to the right. If you're kind of on your heels, maybe let the hips drop all the way down. So if you're on tiptoes, that might be a bit too high. Come flat to the feet. Good. Inhale, pull yourself back up again. Exhale, lean over the other way. Let the hips drop all the way down. Inhale, one more time either side. Exhale to the left, hips to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Release the arms. So again, just however you are comfortable to be sat, we're just going to stretch the shoulders out a little bit. Take your right arm forwards and sweep it across the chest. Your left forearm, or the crease of the elbow, comes into the right forearm. So bring that between your elbow and wrist, not onto the elbow. So go further to the wrist. So pull the forearm in towards your chest. Drop that right shoulder down. Reach out as far as you can through those right fingers. But then drop your head towards your hands. Good. So hopefully feeling a stretch across kind of the belly of your shoulder into your delt. Don't worry if you're not, you're still lengthening it. And breathe into your back. Lift that right arm up towards the ceiling and then drop that palm down the back of the neck. Use your left hand to start with just to take the elbow and draw it further back. And at the same time, just pull the lower ribs in so you're not back bending to help you. Press your head lightly into the forearm behind your head. So again, hopefully feeling a bit of a stretch down the back of your right arm into your tricep. If you want to, wrap the left arm around and see if you can grab hold of your fingers. If they don't quite meet, you can either just keep pressing the hand in wherever it does get to, or keep using the hand on your elbow if that gave you a kind of better stretch. Good, just take one more full breath. And gently release the arms, give that shoulder a little roll out. Take it to the other side, so your left arm's gonna sweep across the chest, heels go kind of above boob space, and then right fold of the elbow comes in to pull the forearm in. Good, keep reaching out as long as you can through that left arm, and then press the left shoulder down. Yeah, drop your head towards your hands, so you lengthen through that left side of the neck as well. Holding there, it can sometimes give you a better stretch as well if you press the forearms together a little bit. A really big breath. Lift the left hand up towards the ceiling and then drop it down the back of the neck. Your right hand just encourages the elbow further back. Rest the head into the forearm and as you exhale, pull the belly to spine so you close those lower ribs. Good. Either stay where you are with hand on your elbow or wrap the right arm around if you want to. One side might feel different to the other, so see how you go. If you have the fingers interlaced, try and pull the elbows apart from each other. Take a full breath. Gently release the arms. Give your hands a shake. 
Good. And then come onto your back with the knees into your chest. Okay. Take a rock side to side on your spine. And then drop your legs over to the right, coming into any variation of a twist that feels calming. Breathing into belly, side ribs, back ribs. Allow each exhale to make you feel a little bit heavier or a little bit softer. Using an exhale, bring the knees through the center and across to the other side. Finding softness. And using an exhale, bring the knees back to the center. Finding any variation of a shavasana that you wish to, if you want to finish in seated, then come up to seated wherever you want to be, just for the last sort of 30 seconds or so. This is enjoying a slower pace of your breath. Just really see if you can feel the connection to the ground underneath you. Just let your body feel fully supported by it. Take a deeper breath. Find a full body stretch. Taking a deeper breath there. And then when you're ready, either rock and roll yourself to seated or roll yourself over to one side, whichever way feels best to come up. Let's keep the eyes closed for a moment if you can. Let's bring to mind one thing that you can feel grateful for today. Acknowledge one thing that you're proud of yourself for. And recognize how getting to your yoga mat has served you in some way today. Maybe you'll feel it in your butt tomorrow. <laughs> Bring that to the heart center and bow your head to your hands. Thank you guys, well done, namaste. Awesome work. Well done. <laughs>